going to read ancient Egypt. So let's get started. Ancient Egypt. On the front page we have Cleopatra. We will learn who she is. Here are some things we might learn in this book. Ancient Egypt contains This is where we start. Ancient Egypt The ancient Egyptians lived many many years ago. They lived on lands by the river Nile and their rulers were very powerful. On the, in this era People first lived by the river Nile. Then, then people used hieroglyphics, right? writing. And in this era, the first pyramid is made. Khufu is ruler of Egypt in this era. The second ruler of Egypt was Tutankhamun is was ruler of Egypt. Then Ramesses the second is ruler of Egypt. Cleopatra is ruler ruler of Egypt in this era. Pharaohs, the ruler of the ancient Egyptian was called Pharaoh. The people thought the Pharaoh was like a god. Powerful pharaohs. Khufu made a pyramid. Ramesses II made lots of buildings. Tutankhamun was a boy ruler. Cleopatra was the last pharaoh. The river Nile. The ancient Egyptians lived by River Nile. River Nile is the longest river in the world. They got their water from the river and learned how to use it to grow lots of food. This is River Nile. It goes till the sea. And mud. Hmm. Floods and mud. Back then, the river Nile would flood every year. Mud from the river got onto the land. Looks so peaceful here and so colorful. People growing crops, animals, and so much more. The water and mud from the flood made the land good to grow food on. This is river Nile and mud and plants that they eat. Using floods, the ancient Egyptians learned how to tell when the river Nile was going to flood. Then they could plant at the right time. They could look here to see how big the flood was going to be. Life on the River Nile The ancient Egyptians had lots of food and water because of the they were nice, so they had time to do many other things like fishing over here or getting some more crops and getting more wood for their houses and much more. Look at the things they would do. Many things used the river. River. Life in ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians could 
grow and make good food with the help of the river. Here we can see the food the ancient Egyptians had. So they are eating some fruits and vegetables, healthy. Ancient writing. Ancient Egyptians learned reading and writing. They used hieroglyphics which was like writing with pictures. So here are all the hieroglyphic writing. We already learned some of it on the first page. We have learned a lot about ancient Egyptian life by reading the hieroglyphic writing. Time to play! Ancient Egyptians also had time to play. We can see this from, from their writing and from things in their tombs. So this is how they are dancing and making music. And I think they are telling stories. This is how they would play. Are they playing chess? Who knew chess was so old? And some more things. This one is doing handstand. This one is doing bow and arrow. I don't know what they are doing here. Is it a game like hockey? <laughs> Gods and the afterlife. Afterlife means the life after death. The ancient Egyptians thought there were lots of gods. The gods could help the ancient Egyptians in life and when they were dead. Here are some ancient Egyptian gods. So here are two and this is one with the animal head or is it just a mask? Maybe it's a mask. Life after death. If they had been good, ancient Egyptians would go to the afterlife when they were dead. So this is the soul. These are the ancient Egyptian gods. The gods could tell if a soul had been good and if it could, could go to the afterlife. This ancient Egyptian god ate the soul of people who had been bad. I think this one. I think the feather is the good side and this side is the bad one. Mummies. Ancient Egyptians thought that the, a person's soul could come back to the dead body. They made a mummy to preserve the body for the person's soul. The ancient Egyptian god helped to make mummies. I think this one. to make a mummy. Why would we want to make a mummy? Let's read anyway. The ancient Egyptians took the insidings out of the dead body and put them in jars. Then they preserved the body with salt. Dead body, this is the dead body, salt to preserve the body. These are the jars that it has written there. Time for the afterlife. Then the ancient Egyptians wrapped the body in bandages. They put it in a tomb. This is a tomb where we put mummies with things for the soul to use in the afterlife. This is how they wrapped the body in bandages. They are, putting, they are also putting some stickers. Fun! Tombs. The ancient
ancient Egyptians put morals and pictures in the tomb with the mummy. In the afterlife, the morals and pictures would become real things for the soul to use. So these are some pictures that they drew and morals. This is a model of a ship. So in the afterlife, is, is that person going to get a big ship? Maybe. To turn Kuman's tomb, the pharaoh had the best, the pharaohs had the best tombs. The boy pharaoh, Tutan, <laughs> I can't even pronounce it right. Tutankhamun had a very best things to use in the afterlife. The tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. Wow, so many things for him to use. Is this a treasure box? Amazing. This is his tomb. The pyramid tomb. Some of the tombs were, were pyramids. This is the pyramid. Building a pyramid took a lot of time. These ancient Egyptians are building pharaohs. Khufu's pyramid. So many people, they didn't even have machines. I bet it would take a lot of strength to make it. Ancient Egypt today. We can go and see. Hmm. We can go and see the pyramids today or see lots of ancient Egyptian things in a museum. A pyramid today. Oh look, it's the Great Sphinx here. They have lots of ancient Egyptian things at this museum. This is a tomb. Some people are looking. And these are the things we learned today. Here is an ancient Egypt quiz. Let's do it. If What have we learned about ancient Egypt? Answer these questions and tell me them in the comment box. Hope you liked the video. If you did, smash that like button and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.